Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Ashton Corners. Today we are, ooh, um, we're gonna seed soybeans. We just gotta adjust <laughs> the planters here. <clears throat> there we go. Now our drills will run the way we want. So I finished up uh, spraying the winter wheat, um, like I had mentioned I was going to do, and then uh, fast forwarded now here to April, so now we are ready to rock and roll on getting these soybeans planted, <clears throat> um, let's just take a quick look here, maize pioneer, maize to get, oh, I guess I never realized that uh, there was different corn crops on here. So, <clears throat> apparently we need to replow all of our fields this fall. Um, I guess I didn't think of it that after a year, sometimes they can uh, reset to that. But... Our oats are coming up nicely now, looking good. Our wheat should be getting pretty close, I believe. Uh, let's quick look. July. I like how barley is ready for harvest sooner than wheat. <clears throat> so we got a few months yet until uh, until we're ready for harvest, which is a okay. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to plant the soybeans here in April. And then because the planting season goes to May, uh, we're going to go fast forward to May. And then we'll plant the corn. Uh, that or we'll go to the second week of April, one of the two. Uh, and then in July, we're going to have a, or actually June. Uh, in the first week of June, we're going to start uh, cutting grass. We're probably going to do our first cutting um, and chop all of it. And then we'll do a, a second cutting uh, and bale it. Because <clears throat> uh, we definitely want to make a lot of silage. Um and get that in the silo first so that way once we have all of the rest of our products then we can start making TMR. Um, still have to figure out yet of where we're going to stack our hay and straw and where we're going to uh, make piles of it when we grind it because uh, I am going to grind our feed so that way we can, uh, that way we can make mixing a little bit easier. So we're going to do that. Um, if you guys remember, we do have the hay buster tub grinder sitting in our one Quonset there. So. <clears throat> She is struggling going up this hill. Definitely not too fond of it. We definitely should have a little bit more space in between these two fields but maybe someday when uh, you know years down the road when we get into running a much much larger operation uh, maybe we will just have one huge field right here but time will tell on that one 
because who knows for all that we uh, know here we could end up going bust on this ranch So yeah, in the next probably week or so, we should be into putting up some hay, which uh, definitely will be nice. <coughs> but I should have, what I am probably going to do actually uh, this fall here is bring the plow down and we're going to plow out that little grass strip and just make this one big field. Um, another thing that we could also do in the future, if we decide to rip up this hay field, um, we can combine these two fields, which would, uh, that would also work out quite well. So now... <clears throat> you guys let me know. Would you rather us stay uh, with old school equipment? Um, you know, obviously we'll upgrade a little bit. You know, there's there are some mods that I have that are kind of a little more old school. Um, I mean, like we can go up to like uh, John Deere STS Combine or something like that. Or like a, you know, the Case 2388. Stuff like that. Or would you like to see us uh, go through, you know, we'll start out with the equipment that we have running old school and then work our way up into a little bit, well, or, or just work up to modern large equipment, you know, like work our way up to the Vermeer uh, self-propelled round baler, a John Deere X9, stuff like that. You know, maybe not those exact machines, but that that style, that era, um, you know. So you guys let me know if you want to see us stay old school like we are or if we should uh, work our way up to newer machinery. So, yeah, let me know down below. And uh, we'll see what we make happen. And then we are going to need to uh, take our corn planter into the shop. Um, I think they might be coming to get it today we're going to have them install a liquid fertilizer system on it um, because what I want to do is I want to use the spreader for lime only and then when it comes to fertilizing we will fertilize with our planters uh, you know we'll use the drills for any crops we plant with these and then we'll use the corn planter for anything that we plant with that. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll get our fertilizer exactly where it should be for each crop. Uh, then we're not over fertilizing like we did now. Uh, because some of our crops don't require a huge amount of fertilizer. Uh, we will use the spreader for our hay fields, though. Um, because we will need to fertilize those at times as well. So, uh, we'll probably actually fertilize them, uh, after each cutting. And do it that way.
then we make sure that our hay fields stay um, fertilized and we are always getting the maximum amount of grass that we can. Because we definitely don't want to be running short on any products for our cows because then we have to go back to buying feed and we definitely want to avoid doing that as much as we possibly can because uh, that is not cheap. And I like how even though we don't own that field next to this, it just planted over top of it. Not quite sure how that works, but all right. Clean this up a little bit. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We're not getting into our oat field. We definitely don't want to do that. Turning this thing around is definitely a pain to do. This thing does not turn very nicely. And as we go through the series, we will be buying more cows. We will get, uh, we will be expanding our operation, both in terms of land and animals. So, and then uh, we're going to be keeping track of our cattle and once they reach five years old uh, we'll be selling them so we got we got a ways but we have a couple more years for that but that is the plan on it either four or five something like that uh, we'll get a few sets of calves out of them and uh, then we'll turn around and sell them. Especially, I think with our Angus cows, we might do them at like three or four. And then our dairy cows will sell at like four or five. Something like that. Because our dairy cows make us money more frequently than our Angus will uh, with the milk. Which, let's take a look here. Have we started producing any? Um, so we need more um, PMR here soon. These guys are 30% into reproduction. These guys are 44% into puberty. Um, I don't know. I think they have to be a certain age before they uh, actually produce milk. Um, I think they have to hit the puberty level before they start, which I believe is a year. 
It's either 12 months, or no, it's 18 months. Um, so once they hit 18 months, then they will start producing some milk. So, I mean, it does, it takes a little while to get anything out of the dairy cows as well, but it, uh, it doesn't take quite as long, which is a good thing. Good thing for us, I guess. go now we got this field opened up <clears throat> and we're still doing pretty good for seed so far we might have to fill them back up when we get uh, back up here by the tender truck I would like to look into getting another older truck and get another uh, wagon body on it. Then we can have one for our seed and one for our fertilizer uh, so that we don't have to really bother with trying to um, we don't have to bother with trying to juggle two things between one truck because that would definitely get to be a very big pain It definitely is a lot nicer running this triple drill setup than uh, running that, running just the one. Otherwise, we would we would be here forever. I mean, we've been going for almost 20 minutes, and we've already gone around this field twice, and now we're going up and down. And look at how much we have done. Had we been going with just the one, we would be way over along the edge yet. So definitely a good thing that we uh, picked up two more. The only thing is trying to keep this thing even with the last row is a little bit tricky at times just because of the way that these uh, outside drills kind of move uh, with this other one. But I do like, you know, they, they did it right. They put hydraulics on the arms and all that. Uh, I believe this originally was made for farm sim 13 and if I remember correctly I believe it was uh, like ASM modding or something like that I believe was their name I don't remember a hundred percent but I I'm pretty sure this came out back in 13 and uh, I mean for it being originally an FS 13 model and being converted you know to 
15, then 17, 19, and now in 22. I mean, it it still looks very, very good uh, for, you know, it being converted that many times and it being that old of a model. <laughs> Definitely a lot better quality than some of the mods that uh, have been converted that many times. There are definitely some that they should have just should have just been left behind. But a lot of the time, they just get converted with nothing done to them. Whereas other models, they get converted, but they've been redone every time to bring it up to the new game's standards. Uh, which is kind of nice, because uh, some of the mods, you know, they are very nice to have brought over, but if they're not done quite right, then it makes it, uh, makes it kind of suck a little bit. So I'm, what I've been thinking is using this grass area right here uh, for a spot to grind our bales and things like that. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking there. For stacking them, I still haven't really figured that out of how I want to go about that. But we'll just kind of have to see. So it won't be good to go down and probably come back again yet. Because we've gone down and back and only used about 20%. So when we get back up to this end, then we'll... Uh... <laughs> that was weird. Um... Then we'll go ahead and fill them back up. I just wanted to make sure that the headset didn't disconnect or something there. And I think it might have been the keyboard. The keyboard does that every once in a while. Where it'll, uh, like, reboot. Yeah, we're, we're over halfway done with this field, which is good. Um, and then any bit of this field that is left uh, after the video, I will do it off camera. And then I'll roll it off camera as well. And then when we come back um, to this series, we will... Um, we'll get going on planting our corn, and I'll probably throw some more TMR into the cows off camera as well, because they do need a couple more, uh, loads of it, so they definitely go through TMR the fastest. So that last pass, we only used 8%. So we'll be A-OK -okay to make it back.
we should probably also grab a uh, thumbnail. We'll wait until we get through the grass bit here. There we are. Yeah, it would definitely be difficult trying to uh, plant in cab with this. It is doable. We just might have a lot more overlap. Because things look a little bit different in cab than they do outside. get turned around and then we'll go grab our truck and get it uh, everything filled up and topped off here all right let's run over here and grab that Should still have enough in the truck to uh, fill everything yet. I don't think we're going to be too low on it. I do really like this Kill Bros. Very well done by uh, Tired Iron Modding. A lot of the uh, machinery that we use on this series is more than likely done by him or something that he had a part in um, just because he deals with a lot of the old school machinery okay that's quite the spot but if it works it works I guess That uh, front drill there was almost empty. Perfect. And we will pull this guy right up here to the side. And we can shut him off. And we'll get all of our drills closed back up. Oops, I forgot to hit that one a second time. There we go. Okay, folks, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, like I said, I will finish planting this field off camera and get it rolled. And then uh, I think we'll be doing some corn. And then I'll also figure out when the dealership is coming to get our uh, corn planter and get those changes made to it because we will be needing that guy very very soon alrighty thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always we'll see you all tomorrow